In the construction sector, large-scale projects in China are often lauded for their incredibly rapid deployment, creating a significant global impact. This impressive feat has established China as a formidable leader in infrastructure development. Expanding and upgrading infrastructure has always been a key driver of economic and social development. And in today's context, China is recognized globally for its leadership in building modern bridges. Statistics reveal that China currently boasts over 960,000 highway bridges and approximately 40,000 kilometers of high-speed railways, nearly half of which are bridges spanning complex terrains like mountains and rivers. These figures not only underscore China's dominance as a global bridge superpower, but also highlight its exceptional technical and project management capabilities within the construction industry. China's infrastructure boom has been a cornerstone of its national economic development strategy. Bridges in China do more than just facilitate transportation. They connect key economic regions, enhance connectivity, and showcase the country's engineering prowess. By employing advanced technologies and modern project management methods, China has made remarkable strides in rapidly and efficiently constructing a large number of bridges. Today, we delve into why China constructs so many large bridges at an astonishing speed. But before we dive into the details, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content. Now let's explore the intricate world of bridge construction and the methods China uses to build an impressive number of bridges with remarkable efficiency. Traditional Beam Bridges To begin with, we need to understand the basic types of bridge structures. One of the most traditional bridge designs is the beam bridge. This type of bridge consists of supports holding up one or more horizontal beams. The distance between the centers of adjacent supports is known as the span, which is a critical indicator of the bridge's capability. A classic example of a beam bridge is the Tantang River Bridge in Hangzhou, China. Designed and constructed independently by Chinese engineers in 1937, this bridge features a maximum span of approximately 66 meters and uses a simple beam support structure with box beams placed between the bridge piers. When beams extend over multiple supports, they form a continuous beam bridge. This design allows the bridge to withstand higher loads and achieve larger spans due to its continuous and uninterrupted nature. A prominent example is the UST River Bridge in Wuhan, which has a maximum span of up to 128 meters. This bridge became a pivotal structure, enabling Chinese citizens to cross the Yangtze River for the first time during that period. Evolution to Pre-Stressed Concrete in the early days, steel bridges in China were considered advanced and costly, predominantly used for railway construction. However, the development of new construction technologies gave Chinese engineers the opportunity to design and build bridges across challenging terrains like the Yangtze River. One such innovation is pre-stressed concrete technology. This technique involves embedding pre-stressed steel rods into the concrete. By utilizing the natural shrinkage properties of steel, this method helps the concrete bear forces and balance external loads more effectively. This not only enhances the bridge's ability to withstand greater loads, but also supports the design of longer spans. Pre-stressed concrete is less expensive than traditional reinforced concrete, significantly reducing overall construction costs. This technology has enabled the construction of highway bridges with spans reaching up to 180 meters. The ability to mass produce pre-stressed concrete components in factories and assemble them on-site has further accelerated bridge construction. Despite limitations in the length of a single span, connecting hundreds or even thousands of spans has allowed for the crossing of large rivers, lakes, and seas, setting records for length some bridges stretching up to 165 kilometers, making them the longest in the world. Advancements in Bridge Design the advancement in bridge construction required significant technological revolutions. For example, modern bridge structures integrate beams and piers into a unified block, allowing these components to work together to bear loads and resist bending forces. This integration facilitates greater spans or enables the use of lighter deck types. However, non-rigid bridges are highly sensitive to temperature fluctuations, which can cause deformation or even collapse. To address this issue, Chinese engineers have designed taller bridge piers that provide greater flexibility and reduce the risk of deformation. These tall piers are particularly advantageous for construction in mountainous areas or valleys. Among the tallest bridges, one reaches a height of 195 meters, equivalent to a 60-story building. In some cases, employing towering piers is not necessary. 
Instead, selecting specific types of piers can help reduce overall height while maintaining the required flexibility. This approach involves using thinner piers, more stable low-bearing beams, and lower construction costs. One notable example is the Shibono Bridge in Chongqing, China, completed in 2006. With a main span of 330 meters, it was the world's longest span pre-stressed concrete reinforced bridge at that time. When faced with challenging terrain like vertical cliffs or deep valleys, designing a single span arch bridge becomes essential. The arch structure requires robustness at both ends and generates strong lateral thrust to counteract deformation, which is advantageous but also challenging in weak foundation scenarios. Innovations in arch bridges. The arch bridge design has seen significant improvements. For instance, China has developed thin concrete arch bridges that reduce weight and achieve spans of up to 330 meters, surpassing traditional span limits for concrete arch bridges. New techniques involve pouring concrete into steel tubes to create a protective shell, enhancing durability compared to ordinary concrete. These steel tubes also act as spacers, simplifying the construction process. Currently, steel arch bridges with spans exceeding 400 meters are becoming more common, reflecting China's leading position in the global steel industry. In recent years, Chinese engineers have achieved remarkable milestones in bridge construction with astounding speeds. Some structures now extend nearly 600 meters long. Looking to the future, a massive rainbow bridge project is planned, with an ambitious span of over 1,000 meters to be completed within a short time frame. Shanghai, for instance, has undergone a dramatic transformation over the past 30 years. From a city with minimal high-rise buildings, it has evolved to meet urban development needs and population travel demands. Building a bridge across the Hankou River, where the banks are nearly 400 meters apart, became a crucial project. At the time, China had never constructed a bridge with such a large span. The Hankou Bridge, a landmark achievement. The construction of the Hankou Bridge was a significant achievement fulfilling the long-held aspirations of over 10 million residents and realizing the dream of the local bridge engineering community. Completed in 1991, the Nanu Bridge in Shanghai marked a turning point in China's bridge construction industry. With a budget only half that of similar projects abroad, this bridge signaled the country's shift towards independently building large-scale and innovative bridges. The Nanu Bridge features two towers, each equivalent to a 50-story building, connected to the bridge deck via 180 steel cables. This structure is known as a cable-stayed bridge, where cables are stretched from one tower to another across the bridge deck, forming a sloping system. This design prevents bending of the bridge beams and enhances the span's capability. The symmetrical triangular structure of the cable-stayed bridge not only improves stability, but also allows it to withstand strong wind conditions, making it suitable for coastal areas with high winds. The Era of Modern Cable-Stayed Bridges The rapid development of cable-stayed bridges has been driven by advancements in materials technology and engineering computation methods. In just over half a century, China has completed a cable-stayed bridge with a main span of 1,000 meters. However, this achievement also brings challenges, particularly regarding the number and steepness of the cables. As the bridge span expands, the number of cables increases, generating a longitudinal force along the bridge deck. This can lead to overloading and stability issues. To construct bridges with spans longer than 2,000 meters, engineers must rely on advanced technologies and materials. Before modern advancements, simpler structures like cable bridges or suspension bridges were common. Today, bridges spanning over 2,000 meters are becoming the new standard, demonstrating the evolution of bridge engineering. The Enfang Sun Suspension Bridge One notable example is the Enfang Sun Suspension Bridge spanning the Yangtze River in Jiangsu, China. This bridge represents a significant advancement over traditional suspension bridge designs. Its main cable system, made from high-strength steel, comprises 127 individual steel strands per cable, forming a robust structure. The dual cable system arranged in parallel allows the bridge to support up to 70,000 tons, equivalent to the weight of 1,000 fully loaded Boeing 747 aircraft. Moreover, the Enfang Sun Bridge is the world's first high-speed rail suspension bridge, accommodating four high-speed train sets simultaneously. This achievement not only demonstrates advanced construction techniques, but also reflects progress in modern suspension bridge design, focusing on safety and operational efficiency. 
The rapid development of China's bridge construction industry is a testament to its engineering capabilities and innovative spirit. The country's ability to build large-scale bridges at an astonishing speed reflects its commitment to advancing infrastructure and enhancing connectivity. As China continues to push the boundaries of bridge engineering, it is poised to become a global leader in this sector. What are your thoughts on China's rapid advancement in bridge construction? Can China maintain its leadership in the global bridge construction industry in the future? Please leave your comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content. Goodbye and see you in the next video.